Hi, I'm Kevin Mitnick, formerly a black hat hacker and the most wanted hacker in the world. Today I'm a white hat hacker, so I help organizations like yours stay secure and help your employees have better security hygiene. So what's the number one threat to your organization today? It's ransomware. What exactly is ransomware? It's malicious software that once it gets into your environment, it scrambles or encrypts all your files so you no longer have access to it. So how do the bad guys get ransomware into your network? The number one way is through spear phishing. That's where the bad guy sends malicious emails to your employees, and if they click on a link, open up an attachment, it infects their computer with ransomware and scrambles all their files and even the files that are on network shares. So the threat of ransomware is actually evolving into what I call ransom cloud. And this is how the bad guy deploys ransomware into your cloud services like Office 365. So over here on the right, I have a Windows 10 laptop that's all up to date with the security patches, that's running the latest antivirus definitions. This is the typical laptop that might be in your environment. And we're also logged into Office 365, as you can see. And you can see that my emails are pretty much normal, what you might see. I'm, I'll go through a couple of them and we could actually read those emails. Over here, I have the hacker console. You see it's logged into an application called Sapo. This is the attacker in the cloud. And the attacker is going to be able to send a spear phishing attack to the victim, which is over here. And once the victim falls for the spear phishing attack, you'll see what the attacker could do with their cloud-based email. So, what are we going to do for the pretext, the con, the fish, is we're going to pretend to be a division of Microsoft that's deploying a new product called Anti-Spam Pro. Anti-Spam Pro will be a product that helps eliminate spam on their Office 365 account. So let me show you how it works. So we're going to pretend to be support at antispampro.com. We're going to be Anti-Spam Pro as the company name. The victim is going to be me. I'm going to type in my name as well. Right now that's been set. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see this. And then I'm going to click Create. And what Create does, it will send the spear phishing attack. Pay attention to the upper right-hand portion of the screen. I'm going to click Create. You'll see up here that it should say Sent in a moment. There it goes. It says the email has successfully been sent. That's the attacker sending the spear phishing email to my account over here. And as you can see, I just received an email from Anti-Spam Pro. Let's take a look and see what it says. So I'm going to be the victim here. I'm going to double click the email. It's going to have the Microsoft branding in it, as you can see. And basically, it's a message that says, as a part of our effort to improve the experience of all our customers and to eliminate spam-based email, we're offering you to enable the service. And if you want the product, the only thing you have to do to enable it is click the following link in the email. Just click the link. So let's go ahead and do it. It's going to ask me to you know, re-authenticate, which is normal. And then what it asked me to do, it asked for permissions. Because Anti-Spam Pro needs permissions to eliminate spam. And what an ordinary user will look, take a look at it and says, yeah, this sounds normal that they need to look at your email, they need to read your email, they need full access and this sort of thing. And as soon as the victim accepts those permissions, it's game over. And now we go to the attacker computer. And we're going to refresh. And we're going to enable certain functionalities. So this web application is actually in the cloud. This victim could be any company located on any part of the planet. It doesn't matter. So what functions do we have here? If we look at the bottom here, what we could do is we could view the victim's contacts, contacts of this person here. I could view their emails. I could send email as them, and a few other things which I'll get to in a moment. So let's go ahead and view the emails. Let me zoom out. We'll view emails. What does view emails mean? What I'm doing is I'm viewing the emails of the victim that clicked on the spear phishing link, so I have complete access to their emails. What else I could do is I could actually send email as them. So I could send email to their colleagues, to their business partners, to their family or friends. 
and use the same spear phishing attack to attack them. But what's the most scariest of them all is Ransom Cloud. What Ransom Cloud's going to do is, in real time, as you'll see, infect the victim's emails, actually encrypt them so the user no longer has access. So let's go ahead and enable Ransom Cloud. I'm going to click Enable Ransom Cloud. And you see in real time, it says infected, 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 infected. What the attacker is doing is actually encrypting all the emails in this account so the victim no longer has access. What we do see is the subject line. Why do the attackers leave the subject line is so the victim knows what emails they can't access. So if we take a look over here, we'll scroll up. And you see an email that says, your emails have been encrypted. If you ever get that type of message, you're going to have a very bad day. So let's take a look at the message. I'm going to double click the email. And I get this scary message. This is what exactly a ransomware attack looks like. We have a message that says, your emails have been encrypted. It explains that your attachments have been encrypted as well, and you will no longer have access to it unless you send $300 of Bitcoin, which is a cryptocurrency, to this Bitcoin address, which belongs to the criminal, the bad guy. So unless you pay the ransom, you'll no longer have access to your email. A pretty scary thing. So what can you actually do about this type of attack? I strongly recommend that you consider a managed service provider. These are the individuals that are trained to help you remediate and recover from this attack without reinfecting your environment. What traits of a managed service provider should you look for? Well, one that could make it a priority to educate your employees not to fall for phishing attacks. Phishing attacks are the number one way an attacker is going to deploy ransom cloud into your environment. Also to deploy defensive technologies like EDRs, which are endpoint detection and response tools to detect malware such as ransomware. So these tools that are like antivirus software could hopefully stop the ransomware in its tracks even though the victim clicked on it. Your MSP should have really good support. So if you ever have a problem, they'll come by your side and help you recover. And most importantly, you want a managed service provider that could help you back up your information locally or in the cloud. And of course, you should consider using a SaaS protection service to, again, protect your organization from this type of threat. So there you go. Stay safe out there. And remember, you have to protect yourself against these types of attacks because they could have a substantial effect on your business.